Okay, what I wanted to demonstrate here is a plugin that I have been working on uh, in Godot. Uh, it's hopefully going to be for 3.1 when it's ready to go. Um, it's uh, This has definitely been a learning experience for myself. This is probably the uh, first plugin that I have uh, constructed. I have done uh, a little bit with the Godot code and the editor modules in the past. Um, there are definitely things that are not exposed yet uh, to the plugins that would uh, make authoring plugins uh, seem more um, in line with the way that Godot handles other editor modules, but um, so so it's been a bit of a challenge uh, however I've quite enjoyed uh, how easy it is uh, to work with this tool um, anyways I'm gonna get right into it uh, so the plugin that I've been working on is a um, a tool that's very similar to the FERR 2D uh, terrain tool that you see for unity or uh, the um, uh, I, I, I think it's the uh, shape tool or the um, sprite shape uh, tool that is uh, new in Unity. Uh, anyways, um, this plugin I, I have here, uh, it has the ability to uh, go ahead and uh, pick your points or plot your vertices um, on the screen and then you can also uh, you know pick the shape material so for example if I want ground the fill material will probably be a dirt and the top texture will be some sort of grass and maybe rocks on the sides and the and the uh, in the bottom and uh, and such and then um, this can also support uh, closed shapes and open shapes so it's it's all one uh, there, there isn't uh, two different uh, shapes that you need to uh, be concerned with um, and then it's very easy to create a uh, collision uh, polygon also using uh, the shape so I'll very quickly uh, throw uh, some ground in here so I'm gonna pick the uh, ground uh, shape material uh, resource and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start plotting uh, my points for the ground and you'll instantly notice that all we see is ground we don't see any uh, fancy textures here so let's take a real quick look at the shape material so the shape material has a fill texture which is what we're seeing here and then uh, it's followed by a top texture tilt and a bottom texture tilt so what this is saying is that uh, as the angle uh, of the the top here changes I will go ahead and render a top texture as long as this angle is within a plus or minus 53 degrees uh, the same occurs with the bottom uh, everything in between just moves to a, it's either a left or a right texture so the reason we're not seeing anything uh, but the dirt texture right now is that there is a property on the shape that you have to select it has edge and as soon as I click that you see it turned on so now when I look at the uh, shape here it has the edges drawn and if I go ahead and look at the top textures you can see that I have two different textures that I can use for the top and that's very useful uh, to uh, render some variation so for example let's say uh, right here I want to use the second texture if I look at the top here I've created a label called IDX and if you roll over that control point you'll notice that the label will tell you uh, the index number Later on, I'm going to add some controls and probably do it more visually here, but this was uh, kind of quick and dirty and uh, allowed me to really test my code uh, without 
bothering myself with uh, all the uh, nice UI. Anyways, so I uh, the, the the control point index is one. So if you scroll up and you go to texture indices, if you go to one and change your element, then and unfortunately this is something that I don't know how to do within the plugins I'm not sure it's feasible uh, but I have to cause something to to change um, in order for it to pick up this new data so I'm just gonna move this point here and you'll notice that I now have this uh, other texture being rendered there so it's again it's pretty easy to put some variation in there uh, this is based off of a curve, however, um, at the moment I have to keep my math and my understanding somewhat simple, I have uh, elected not to uh, use the uh, bake points for the curve yet, uh, however I am reserving that capability, so uh, I do see that being a possibility um, in the future uh, but right now it's it's just as easy to pretty much um, just come in here and grab my my points so you can see again as that angle changes it will change from being a top texture to uh, a, a left texture and the same thing happens on the right and you can go ahead and insert points wherever you want So again, this is the uh, the closed shape, and uh, you can see that I have a left texture, right texture, bottom texture. Uh, one thing to note is that they are uh, drawn in the same direction, and so what happens is the angle at which the uh, mesh is rendered. Um, turns so if I was to draw a straight line these would all be pointed upwards however as it turns the corner and comes down to the next control point the texture rotates with that same angle so that is uh, it, it's something that you know in your artwork you'll you'll have to make note of it works very similar to the uh, the uh, sprite shape in, in Unity uh, it doesn't seem overly difficult to understand. Uh, the, the most difficult part here is actually creating art that uh, melds well uh, to, together. Uh, so this is just some uh, quick art that I threw together and uh, it doesn't look too bad. Um, definitely uh, could use an artist but anyways so this is again the closed shape so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another shape to demonstrate a open shape and this is going to be another same control I'm just going to go ahead and call this one fine and then I've already created a, a vine resource and we'll take a real quick look at that and you'll notice that uh, the vine resource has got two textures and that's all it has um, so all I need to do is make sure it's not a closed shape I'm going to add a couple points and there's there's the vine and you can go ahead and decorate Move your points. Um, I have a bug right now that I'm, I'm working out. Uh, it's sometimes when I click on an existing point, it's closing my shape automatically. So the way to get out of that is to uh, jump out of the add mode and go to the edit mode, and then you can uh, safely uh, create some points here. Okay, so now again we want that variation, so that index one. So I can go ahead and pick the 
uh, texture indices again and bump that up by one and let's go ahead and bump that up by one too and let's see what we got and we got some variation now so that's kind of neat um, another thing to uh, be concerned with or uh, here is your artwork and the collision so again when I'm looking at this ground uh, the collision will be set up to uh, essentially follow these uh, these white lines so if for example this left wall uh, edge here is just a little too far uh, for your liking what you can do is go down to the left vertical adjustment and you can move that and you can kind of uh, you know adjust it to where you uh, feel like your collision will be uh, best handled and that does it for all sides so you can do that with the top and uh, that's it so now to put collision detection on this uh, you just simply pick your shape and select this uh, add static body parent and a collision polygon sibling and we'll just go ahead and view and you'll notice that it again followed that line so you might say yeah when I'm running there uh, I want the, the feet of the character for example to um, be a little different than that. So I'm going to adjust that top, excuse me, the top vertical adjustment and maybe bring that down a little. Again, it's, it's all kind of artwork. Um, and then you also have this auto update collider. So when you're in the shape, notice that after I have made my adjustment, uh, that the collider is following. However, uh, down here, it looks like the character might be floating a little bit. So the uh, maybe the better thing to do in this case is to turn the auto update collider off. And then you can uh, go ahead and freely adjust uh, your collision detection um, to you know whatever suits you. So the, the materials are fairly easy uh, to create. Uh, I, I continue to add a few more adjustments here and there. Again, it's, it, it feels a little bit like uh, art in a sense that, uh, you know, it, it tries to figure out as, as much as it possibly can for you. However, um, it still does require you to do a, a, a little tweaking and I think I see that pretty much with the other tools that are out there too uh, they're not a hundred percent they they knock it uh, they, they allow you to build your levels really quick um, it, it can create some really organic uh, scenes um, but in the end uh, what's gonna really make this work is uh, your artwork and uh, you know how, how much you're willing to to get in there and and make these fine adjustments um, one of the other things that you can do is I'm going to demonstrate uh, I'm going to take this uh, this uh, ground and I want to take this resource here and um, this this is one thing I don't agree with uh, in, in Godot uh, custom resource I have to scroll all the way down to the bottom uh, just to hit edit I mean, there may be a shortcut I'm not aware of um, but anyways I want to take this uh, ground uh, resource and I'm going to save this as uh, ground 360 save okay so now what I'm going to do is create one more shape and we'll go ahead and this is going to be uh, just kind of hanging out here and we're gonna go ahead and 
update that ground 360 and then I have to cause an update and then we're gonna mark has edge so the the really nice thing about this is that you're creating your shape material once and able to reuse it uh, if you've been working in Godot for a little while you're completely familiar with this process um, but what I wanted to demonstrate here was that the shape uh, gives precedence to top and then bottom left and right so uh, technically when it's rendering it'll render left edge and the right edge and then it'll render bottom and then top so uh, that'll put um, the you know the primary artwork where I I believe that it is most important anyways is is the top and uh, uh, so in that the top texture and the bottom texture work together however the top can override the bottom so if I was to take my top texture tilt and go all the way up to 180 degrees you'll notice that now the uh, shape is covered by the uh, the top texture completely so um, you know this might have uh, some some somebody might have a, a need for this anyways that's it uh, I hope to have something completed uh, maybe out there available for people to uh, to test uh, again it's for Godot 3.1 so if you're uh, you know working with the the latest build uh, and and this is something you think you would uh, like to experiment with uh, I hope to have it out there um, here shortly anyways hope you enjoy thank you